Hello, uh, my name is Pavel Luptak. I'm the co-organizer of HTTP20 conference, uh, the biggest privacy conference, uh, which will take place uh, in two weeks in Prague, uh, Crypto City, from 2nd October until 4th October. Uh, you are strongly invited. Uh, despite of coronavirus situation, we are still planning this conference. So we are st strongly invited you to this conference. Don't hesitate and come. And as every week, uh, we uh, are going to introduce you some interesting co-speakers cool of our conference. This week, uh, it will be Pavla Olcova. Uh, Pavla Holtseva uh, is my very good friend, but uh, in, a, in addition to this fact, she's also the famous Czech investigative journalist, and she's also the founder of investigatsa.cz, what is the organization of Czech investigative journalists. And uh, she's also the member of OCCRP, which means Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project. Uh, she's the, uh, the member of this organiza organization since 2013. And also, uh, she participated in many international investigation projects. For example, she was the only Czech journalist uh, who was uh, involved in uh, research or investigation of Panama Papers, also the Paradise Papers or Russian Laundromat uh, or Azerbaijani Laundromat. I'm going to explain uh, more about this project in the following slides. Uh, together with Jan Kuciak, uh, she was uh, one of the, the, the main investigation journalists uh, uh, who revealed uh, links uh, secret links between the Slovak government and Italian mafia. Um, if you are from Slovakia or the Czech Republic, you probably know that uh, uh, that this was probably the biggest scandal in Slovakia, uh, which ended up with uh, the murder of innocent person uh, Jan Kuciak, who was a very talented and skilled Slovak journalist, and uh, and Pavla worked with him. Uh, Especially, they were focused on uh, Italian uh, Italian mafia and their connection to the Slovak government. Also, she uh, she was investigated uh, the, the billion dollars project project uh, massive sales of illegal arms to Syria conflict during the war, and uh, she's expert in Italian mafia. Uh, so she ex she explored links between. Um, cocaine bosses and Balkan organized crime groups. And also uh, she revealed a lot of corruption scandals of many politicians in Azerbaijan and also in the Balkan. And thanks to this, uh, in 2016, Pavla uh, became uh, one of the, uh, was selected among hundreds of European change makers. Uh, for one of the most important person uh, who is changing Central and European uh, European Europe to be uh, a better world. Um, maybe some more information about uh, this Azerbaijan pro project. Um, uh, she worked uh, in this Azerbaijan investigation with the uh, uh, Azerbaijan journalist Kadia Ismailova and uh, they wrote multiple articles about activities of Azerbaijan, the, the past Azerbaijan president and his family members. And thanks to this, uh, they received Global Shining Light Award. And also, uh, Pala was very active in Balkan and, and together with the help of uh, OCCRP, uh, which is Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project and Balkan Investigative Reporting Network, she was able to analyze a billion dollar, dollar military orders uh, to Syria. And also, as I, as I mentioned, uh, she, she was active in Serbia and she uh, collaborated with Sashka Cvetkovska and they were able to reveal a secret investment of uh, Macedonian uh, uh, Secret Services boss. His name is Sasha Mielko. And thanks to this revelation, uh, Sasha uh, Milanko, he uh, had to leave and consequently the whole uh, Macedonian government fell. Uh, 
Pavla Holcova became a regular speaker at HTPP two years ago at HTPP 18. She had a really nice presentation about money laundering. So if you're interested in, in this topic, I strongly recommend you to watch this video. Also, uh, in another video, uh, she was interviewed uh, by OCCRP editor about uh, murder of Jan Kuciak, uh, her colleague, and um, and also about uh, uh, researching or uh, revealing secret connections of Italian mafia. Uh, a few years ago, she uh, visited uh, one famous narco boss uh, in Peru in his prison, and he also uh, did an interview with this uh, dangerous guy. Uh, so you can watch the, uh, this video about, about this meeting, interesting meeting. And that's all. See you all in two weeks in Prague. We will definitely uh, be there and see you at HTTP 20. <laughs>